Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth edition of my five ingredient or less meal series. If you have missed the first three, I will leave them throughout the video up in the i cards and I will also leave all three of them in the description box below. Definitely check them out because we have done chicken, we have done beef, and we have done turkey. So definitely check those out so you can get more ideas for your upcoming meal plans. So today I am doing pork, like I said, and I am collabing with my one of my best friends here on YouTube, Anchor Amber. If you guys have not checked her out, definitely go to her channel and leave an owl emoji in the comments along with whatever you want to say in your comment just so she knows that I sent you. So definitely run over there and do that. She does everything from stitch fix to cooking videos, meal plans, Dollar Tree, everything in between. She does it over there. So make sure you run over to her video because she is doing a completely different take on pork than I am. My recipe today is probably the easiest one that I've had this week so far. It's absolutely delicious though. My boyfriend loves it. I love it. When friends come over and I make it, they love it. So make sure that you stay tuned for this recipe because it is so easy. You don't want to miss it. Okay, the ingredients you're going to need are these pork chops. I actually just pulled these out of the freezer. Light soy sauce. Well, you can use whatever soy sauce you want, but I just like to reduce the sodium with light. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of honey. Some garlic, I just use this big mamma jamma thing so I don't have to mince the garlic every single time. And then some olive oil. Okay guys, so I already have a mixing bowl with a fourth of a cup of honey. And I'm kind of going to eyeball the rest of everything. So that I just put in two tablespoons of olive oil and about two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then I'm just going to put in a tablespoon of minced garlic or two to three cloves of garlic if you're using fresh garlic. And I'm going to take a whisk and just whisk everything up really good just so I can evenly coat the pork chops. I realized it was a little too garlicky and not enough liquid so I added a little bit more olive oil and a little bit more soy sauce. So I'll mix that up really really well and now what you're going to see me do is just coat each pork chop pretty thoroughly with this stuff and then just put it on a plate and get ready to cook it. I'm going to put some olive oil in this pan and get it really, really hot and put as many pork chops as I can fit in this pan in there. And as you're going to see in a second, I did have to do two batches because we ate this meal for dinner and we also had leftovers and I used that for my meal prep for the week. So I'm going to add some garlic salt. As you guys know, I love that garlic salt from Aldi's and a little bit more, so more soy sauce just to flavor up that side just a little bit because it didn't look like it got coated as much as I wanted it to get coated. So then as soon as they're done, I'm going to flip them over. It took about four minutes per side, which was really, really quick and super easy. So that's what I went ahead and did for both sides. And then after that, I'm going to put it on a plate and then start the second batch. Guys, this meal was so easy. I think from start to finish, including everything, it took me about 20 to 25 minutes, which is super awesome for a home-cooked meal. I did serve it with mashed potatoes and green beans. So delicious. Let me know down in the comments below if you plan on making this, and I will see you guys tomorrow for our last recipe video. Bye, guys.